I'm the supervisor of technology for the school system. So day to day, uh, it's a myriad of things. Um, writing bids for equipment, monitoring things. I have a staff of nine uh, that works in a variety of capacities. I have a network administrator, uh, six folks in the buildings, a data analyst, and then a secretary at central office. And these days, technology is uh, integrated throughout all of our departments. So it's really knowing a variety of things and how everything operates. Absolutely. We were uh, very hopeful to uh, receive the grant. It was the Digital Learning Innovation Grant that Martin O'Malley made available uh, for the 2013-14 school year. And we applied for it. We applied for a half million dollars. Uh, knowing that would go a long way for Kent County. And we were fortunate that uh, we received 400,000 of that 500,000 request. So we had to uh, shave off 100,000. And uh, with the other 400,000, we were able to purchase devices for high school. That was uh, ninth grade laptops for all the students. And then the middle school, iPads for seventh grade. And then elementary school, we purchased 300 Chromebooks. And so we really beefed up uh, our tech in all of the, at all the levels, that we needed to start several initiatives. Um, so one of the initiatives is uh, the kindergartners are taking a readiness assessment. When they come into kindergarten, by November, they have to take an online assessment. And for that assessment, they're using tablets, uh, in particular iPads which fits well with our school system. We're an Apple school system, basically. So that's been the latest um, trend as we're seeing devices down the early primary. And they're very popular, obviously, with the students. We, we knew we had to do something just based on the research. You know, the technology wasn't going to solve everything, but you needed uh, tech integration in the classroom to be successful. And so we knew when we applied for the grant that uh, you know, we really needed something like this to benefit the students and the teachers. So uh, the best example I could give is uh, when we applied for the grant, we included the science tech book from Discovery Education as part of the grant. And once we received that grant, we not only purchased the seventh grade science tech book but we went ahead and purchased the 6th and the 8th grade tech book. And now we're a full discovery education school system where we have um, math, science, social studies, and health really from grades uh, 3 through 11. So we have entirely interactive digital textbooks for those subject areas. And it was all the result of this grant. The grant provided the impetus for expanding that partnership with Discovery. So without it, uh, I'm not sure we would have ever gotten there. It's, uh, it hasn't been easy uh, because you can imagine the teacher has uh, 20 different, 26 different students to try to meet their needs. Uh, so we think the technology is going to help with that, but it's still a huge challenge. Uh, so it's almost to the point where you have to find your groups that are close to each other and pinpoint those groups and you know, meet their needs that way. And I'm very fortunate. Uh, I have two children at the high school, I have one at the middle school, and I have three at uh, Millington Elementary. <laughs> so I've got all the levels covered, but I do, uh, I do uh, question them. Uh, and it's not, it's not about you know, finding what's not working or who's doing, not doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, it's more, you know, hey, what are you, you know, what's going on in the room? Are you using the iPads? What are you doing with them? Because I'm trying to find out, you know, I don't hear everything the teachers are doing sometimes, so I'm trying to find innovation and, and highlight it for the other teachers. They do have the ability to create, edit uh, documents online. We use uh, Google Apps for Education as our platform for that. Um, so some teachers are very skilled at uh, you know, creating assignments in, in Google and then sharing them out and then the students turning them in um, and it, the workflow is quite nice. Um, 
but there's also a school of thought that the, you know there is a benefit to them handwriting on paper still too uh, so I, I think it's probably a, some sort of hybrid uh, of both of those would be the ideal because uh, I, I understand that it's uh, you know to give up on the handwriting is a tough thing to sell I think the biggest challenge is uh, we have so many initiatives uh, and you know every day there's new software something better um, the teachers understandably they will say you know I just became comfortable th with this and now we're going to switch to this and so it becomes overwhelming so I think um, I think that's been the biggest challenge is trying to simplify for teachers um, and getting them to buy in as well as you know school administration that's that's a huge sell too you know it's you can't do without their support I see uh, a lot of great things happening uh, as I mentioned if the county uh, is able to provide some sort of access or at least uh, inexpensive access at home that would be huge for us because we maybe we can consider sending devices home as well which we do in the ninth grade they do keep their devices 24 7 um, but I also see the high school becoming um, a one-to-one -one school at least that's the plan uh, currently ninth graders have the devices so we really are compelled to uh, continue that that's gonna be hard to undo that if you want to call it so uh, we have plans uh, we're seeking out funding to continue that things are looking promising uh, so that's that's the biggest takeaway as well it's been awesome I mean it's been uh, a lot of challenges but it's actually a lot of fun